Hello everybody, this is July from Kickback Couture and today we will be talking about the Master Compressor. Go ahead and jump into the mixer and I do have it open already. In order to get to the Master Compressor, just simply double click on Master Compressor. Now the first thing we want to pay attention to is the on button. And we can see that our signal increased substantially. Now you do want to make sure you have the settings correct and this is what we're going to talk about further. So this master compressor is like the final touch. It's glue to your track in a sense it glues everything together so i usually apply a light amount of compression although you can use it as a limiter there is a 10 to 1 ratio option which is the requirement for a limiter The only thing about it is there is no ceiling option, so you cannot set the ceiling. It's going to end up clipping if you turn it up too far. So pay attention to that. So besides the on button, we do have this meter right here. And the meter just displays the gain reduction in decibels. And as we can see, it goes from 0 decibels to 20 decibels. And we see the dB here. I believe that says dB once again. I am blind. So the next parameter we will discuss is the threshold. And we did talk about all of the meanings of these in the previous video on dynamics when we talked about the compressor, but I will briefly explain everything again. The threshold is going to set the level at which compression begins. So the lower the threshold, the more compression is enacting. And everything above the threshold is going to be compressed. So keep that in mind. It goes from negative 30 decibels to 0 decibels. So once again, everything, everything above the threshold is compressed. So now our threshold is 0 decibels. Now watch as we move this to the left now that's obviously way too much compression but you get the point everything above the threshold is compressed next we have ratio ratio is going to set the amount of reduction that's applied right now we have two to one we could change it to 4 to 1 and 10 to 1, as I said earlier. So I'll keep it at about 2 to 1. I'm going to move my loop points. Option down. I always accidentally hit command. Now let's watch this meter. I usually go for about three decibels of gain reduction on my meter. At the most. So this should be the loudest part in the beat. looking good there so the next parameter is the attack the attack is going to tell you how fast the compressor reacts to the signals that surpass the threshold that you set here so this is fast and this is slow watch how the needle moves
So we can go for a fast attack since my drums are the, the loudest part of this beat. You could even slow it down a bit. It is completely up to you. We go from 0.1 milliseconds to 30 milliseconds. Next we have release. Release is how long it takes before the compressor stops compressing. So once it, the signal is released, the compressor will let the sound through unaffected. Now you do notice that with the release we have we're going down to 0.1 second to auto and before auto we have 1.2 seconds what auto is is an adaptive option so when you have longer transients when you have longer transients the release is going to be the release time is going to be increased and when you have shorter transients, short peaks, then the the release time will be decreased. So it's going to work in relation to how you have crafted your composition. Pay attention to when the kick hits. And the 808. This is the 808 by itself without the kick. And this is the kick. And you can see how the release changed in that split second, how the needle moved. The last, well, second to last parameter on this master compressor is the makeup gain. This just compensates for the level of reduction caused by the compression that was applied to the signal. I wouldn't set that too loud because I do end up putting a limiter in my master section anyways and I don't use this master compressor as a limiter I just use it as a glue in a sense as I spoke earlier actually not in a sense because that is what it does the last parameter on here is a button and it is a sidechain button and the way that you use this is by Going to the rack, tap to flip over. This is where the master section sidechain input is located on the back of the master section. So remember that if you ever want to sidechain anything into the master section. Before I end this video, I just want you to hear what it sounds like without the master compressor on so you can see what I mean by glue. This is with it on, off, on, off. On, off. Now they do say louder is better, so I'm going to take the makeup gain back to its original, its original value, which is 2.87 decibels. This is with it off. Yeah. 
on. Off. So you can hear how that glues everything together and makes it sound more cohesive. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.